Today I have this tag that I picked up at Dollar Tree. It's a Valentine's tag. And I turned it over and I'm going to be applying my gray Wise Owl primer on the back. And I'm going to be using this as my platform. Now the primer is important because this is cardboard. And if I didn't prime it, there would be a stain that would seep through my paint. So once the primer was dry, I then added Snow Owl by Wise Owl. I'm using a Klingon brush. It could be found at chalkitupfancy.com along with the primer and the paint. And once this was completely dry, I then added one hour enamel clear all over my tag and then allowed that to dry. And now my surface is ready for uh, a transfer that I wanted to show you guys. It's one of the newer ones. And this is called Light and Flowers. This transfer can be found at chalkatafancy.com. And it has four different panels. They're kind of like labels and different colored flowers. I chose the flower uh, that was all yellow. My kitchen's yellow, so I decided to go with this one. And they were the perfect size for this tag. So first you wanna make sure that you have a plan so that your label is straight. Sometimes I put a piece of tape going across just to give me a guide um, to make sure my image is straight when I lay it down. Because once you release that backing, that's the protective coat on the back, and you lay it down, you cannot lift it back up. Once down, each transfer comes with a stick in the tube, and you're just going to do this rubbing motion, and this is what's going to release it from the top layer. There's a film on the bottom, which is kind of like a white color, and then there's a film on the top, which is clear. And as you're rubbing is when you're releasing this image from that top clear film. A couple tips is you want to make sure that you're holding your image, either with tape or with your hand, so it doesn't shift as it's releasing. And you want to take your time and just lift slowly. You don't want to just peel it up. And as you're lifting, if you see that it, part of the image isn't releasing, you just lay it back down and just keep rubbing. Once your image is applied, you want to take a cloth and just keep rubbing all areas of your image uh, to make sure that it's adhered. This is what we call burnish. It is a very important step. So I decided to add a little bit to my tag. I found this uh, adhesive stencil um, at Michael's. It's from uh, Martha Stewart. And it just has like a floral pattern design at the top. And I'm using a new color by uh, Wise Owl that's called Dijon. And that's exactly what it looks like, Dijon mustard. Using a dabber and just doing this dabbing motion with very little paint is really the key to successful stenciling. You can get these dabbers right at Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna add a little bit at the bottom of my tag. Just pull everything together. Using the same method as the top. Now again, I got this tag at Dollar Tree and turned it around and, and worked from the back. The transfer, the paint, the one hour enamel clear, and the brushes at chalkitupfancy.com. And now my final stage is to go over it again with one hour enamel clear. Here I'm using my two inch angle, palm, um, angle brush. It's one of the premium brushes. Also can be found at chalkatafancy.com. 
once all that dried, I reapplied the tag that came with the uh, tag in the first place. And I'm adding some um, gingham ribbon and a little piece of a gold ribbon in there and creating a bow. And now you have this tag that you created with just a Dollar Tree item. And this can be displayed on your door or a wall. I'm going to put mine in my kitchen. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see other tutorials, you can go check us out at chocolateoffancy.com. We also have a YouTube channel. And any products, paint products, brushes, tissue paper, transfers, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much for watching.